Cruises, they're making a major comeback since COVID and that strong demand, that fresh, strong demand is sending ticket prices to new high levels. Believe it or not, cruise operators Carnival and Royal Caribbean, they have set some ticket prices even higher than they were pre-pandemic, more than 40% according to one closely monitored report and prices, they could continue to climb. Now, according to data from Cruise Critic, which is a cruise review site owned by TripAdvisor, the average price of a five-night cruise in the Caribbean this December will run travelers $736 per person, an astounding 43% higher than the same time in 2019. And again, that's pre-pandemic levels. December's average cruise cost almost mark a roughly 37% increase from last year when cruises were still being shunned as, in quotes, super spreader gatherings. But cruise lines have had to implement price increases just like everyone else. In an interview with The Post, former Carnival executive Carlos Torres de la Navarra says, coming out of the pandemic, cruising was always going to be the last one people realized was safe or not. Hence why people were quick to realize that airline tickets and land-based resorts have gotten more expensive, but the oceans, they're just now rising. They're just now catching up. And then Navarra goes on to say that the cruise popularity has also seen many Americans booking cruises for the very first time ever. He goes on to note that over 70% of people in the U.S. have never cruised before. And this first-timer market has opened up an additional audience and demand that gives cruise lines the ability to start raising their prices. So you might be wondering, what's with the price hike? Well, demand does help boost operations, and inflation is indeed rearing its ugly head. But the challenge is that they, which is the cruise lines, they have a ton of debt that they have to deal with that they didn't have before, referencing the millions in debt cruise operators took on in order to get through the pandemic. So here's the rest. Here's the real question. What do you guys say? Are you ready to take your first cruise? Are you ready to spend the money to travel the seas? Do you feel safe or is it just too much for you already? Will cruise lines see, will they reverse losses soon or is this just a short term boom? What do you think is really going to happen here? Are you going on a cruise? What do you guys all think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And for Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.